thanks for tuning in to Sister Somebody. I'm going to answer a few questions today by Allie. Allie has asked me how to prepare for a mission better and what are the most important things to study. So I'm making this video for her and for anyone else who would like to know my thoughts about it. There are three things that I would do better. When I decided to serve a mission, I was active, but I didn't really know the gospel. I wasn't really converted all the way, although I had a testimony. I did not read the Book of Mormon before I left, and I didn't really know any of the lessons. Like, I've never read any of the Preach My Gospels or anything, so I felt so unprepared because my thought process was, I'm going to the MTC and they'll teach me. That ain't true. That is not true. You do not go to the MTC to learn what to teach. You go to the MTC to learn how to teach. And there's a huge difference. And because I didn't prepare as much, I could definitely feel Satan working on me when I was in the MTC telling me I'm, I'm not good enough. I do not even know what I'm about to go teach people. So it's so important to prepare yourself before you go. The three things that I want to share with you guys are first, study as much as you can. Obviously you want to read the Book of Mormon, but also really, really study the Bible. I found in my mission, my mission president was really, really knowledgeable on the Bible, especially the New Testament. And that's something I didn't really think about reading, but the Bible is so good and a common ground for a lot of people you're gonna meet. So I definitely think the four Gospels in the New Testament, you should definitely study those. A few other scriptures that help explain what we believe to others because it really helps when we use scripture that they know and that they love. The next thing is study your preach my gospel. I've pretty much read most of the lessons before my mission, but there is a difference between reading them and studying them. Study everything you need to know and especially study the little pamphlets that missionaries use to teach investigators because it teaches so simply and as a missionary, especially when you start out, you just have word vomit. You just want to explain everything we know and at least I did. I wanted to make sure they knew everything, but really that's so hard to comprehend or to understand or too much to think about at once. Where it's really not even very helpful. They don't even hear everything because it's just way too much information. So really study, study how they explain things in Preach My Gospel and those pamphlets because it'll help you get down to a simpler version and be able to connect to people on what they already believe. Okay, the second thing to do to prepare yourself better is get into the mindset now. You've chosen to go on a mission and some people have to wait a while until they have to go and that's fine. But really get in the mindset of what you're about to do and, and what kind of missionary you want to be. I was the type of person who was like, oh, it'll come, I'll become a missionary and it'll all just come naturally. But you are the same person you are now that you will be when you're on your mission. Although you change so much and you are so blessed with the help of Heavenly Father and you can feel a difference when you're set apart as a missionary. For sure. That's not what I'm saying. But when you first get there, it's hard to switch off the worldly you, if that makes sense. As the time gets closer, focus on what you're about to do and don't wait for that time till when you get there. The third thing that I would tell you guys that's important 
to understand before you leave on a mission is the reality of mission life. Think about why you're going to go serve because missionary work is so hard and I always thought missionaries were perfect and everyone wanted to meet them and talk with them and I didn't really think of the reality of being a missionary myself. You just see these missionaries and you're like, they're awesome. They have so much faith. And really think of the reality of you being a missionary. It's so important to work on your faith. Pray for missionary experiences and start sharing the gospel now because it's hard to just go out and open your mouth. You're not just all of a sudden this amazing missionary. Some people it takes a lot of work and others are just, they're naturally already like that. In my case, I was very shy and so it was really hard for me to open my mouth. And I, I did go out with the sisters a lot, but I wish I did it more on my own before I left because I would feel a lot more prepared. Also, like I mentioned, as you go out, remember why you're going. It's the most amazing and best thing in the world to be a missionary and have that experience, but in the beginning, it can be a little bit hard and to transition into that. Um, don't get me wrong, missions are hard all the way through, but especially right when you get out. And I had doubts of why I should be there, if I should be there, what did I get myself into? Like all these different things came into my mind. And one thing I wish I did was write a letter to myself saying all the reasons why I'm there. And just like put a little, make it small and like put in your scriptures or something. And whenever times get hard, just go back and look at that. You'll remember you are meant to be there. You'll remember all your feelings and why you're going and the importance of what you're about to do because the Lord needs you where you are called. and. You're going to be an amazing missionary. And I guess the last piece of advice is don't stress, don't worry, although I kind of made that a little stressful. Everything will be okay. Just have faith and trust in Heavenly Father and really learn and study more about Jesus Christ and you're going to be great. Missions are so exciting. And me and my husband always wish we can go back or serve a mission right now. But obviously, we're starting a family instead. <laughs> so, um, I just wish you guys the best of luck. And if there's anything else I can do to help you prepare to go, just message me on this video or on Instagram or anything like that. Um... Also, if you guys want to know more about my life after my mission, I have a vlog channel with my husband called Dia's Days, so you can go head over to there. Thanks for watching, and I hope that I could help in any way, and I love you guys so much and want to hear all your experiences. Bye!